here tonight. Oh. And normally we do poems inspired by our poetry idols, uh, Death From Below, Dan Sullivan and Tim Stafford. Oh. And Tim Stafford couldn't be here tonight. Oh. He's but, not the shits. But this was inspired... <laughs> This, this poem is inspired by Tim's poem, Mixtape, so yeah, it's dedicated to Tim Cook and Tim Stafford. It's called Mixed Up. Uh. <laughs> I don't write slam poems. I edit anthologies. <laughs> I mean, what's the point when all the best slam poets are somebody else? <laughs> like the Speakeasy Ensemble. Uh. I figure if you can't beat them, join them. And remember, imitation isn't the sincerest form of flattery, parody is. Uh -huh. <laughs> and it's not to be funny or ironic. Well, funny maybe. But I really like the Speakeasy Ensemble. And it's cool if you don't, because this isn't about you. <laughs> <laughs> I make anthologies because one poem is never enough. I need at least 500 pages packed with poems to even begin to express <laughs> the literary genius that is the Speakeasy Ensemble. Mm. Yeah. No one poem can sum up the deep emotions in Robbie Q's. Muppets are awesome. <laughs> With Daniel Sullivan's Dear Kanye West. <laughs> or Joe Shamara's I Am What I Drink. <laughs> that poem hasn't been written yet. If it has, it's in a chat book by some obscure poet who never features in Chicago. <laughs> I haven't met that wordsmith yet. It's wordsmith yet. I'm an editor's dream and a publisher's nightmare, carefully selecting poem after poem in precisely the right order till they're printed neatly in a large manuscript guaranteed to have absolutely no marketability. <laughs> <laughs> I've created a world where the Middle Graffiti Slam team and Team Tempe can peacefully coexist. <laughs> and one of those poets with a, a single signature piece they're either stupid or naive. <laughs> and I know slam isn't a competition. Okay, maybe it is. <laughs> but the point is not the points. Okay, maybe it is. <laughs> po poems are great, but they only apply to certain situations. Sometimes you don't want to hear another one of Big Papa's minivan poems. Mm. <laughs> you want to write Shotgun with Robbie Q in his yeah. 2002 Silver Shitty Cowboy. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, come on. Or join Tim Stafford and his Berwyn Dance Queen yes. heading into the sunset on a green Kawasaki Ninja. What? Sometimes you want to cruise with Robbie and Tim on your very own Segway! <laughs> While Molly Meacham narrates your meaningless existence. Uh. All of this can be yours in my anthology. <laughs> Some people say I'm old fashioned. That today's poetry is, is about the stage, not the page. They say everything changed when slam was invented. I say, who's that slam inventor? Mark Smith? So, so what? what? Fuck that guy. Others insist <laughs> anthologies are slowly going the way of encyclopedias, relegated to the bargain bin at the library used book sale. But they are wrong. <laughs> I could easily put recorded poetry on a website or burn it on a CD or DVD. But have you ever tried to press, press flowers between the pages of a website? <laughs> they need real paper for that. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> have you ever tried to smash a large spider with a sack stack of CDs? <laughs> no. Yes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and when tiny Tim Stafford comes over and can't reach the dinner table, <laughs> just try to use a DVD for a booster seat. <laughs> Someday, I might give, give up. Get a life. Maybe even a job. <laughs> but for oh, now, there's work to do. Mm. Mother's Day is Sunday. I've got flowers to press. Where's that manuscript? All right. Thank you. Yeah, no. yes.